The Human Space Flight Center HSFC is a center of ISRO responsible for implementation of the Gaganyaan project. The first crewed flight is planned for December 2021 on a homegrown GSLV-3 rocket. Before Gaganyaan mission announcement in August 2018, human spaceflight was not the priority for ISRO, though most of the required capability for it had been realized. ISRO has already developed most of the technologies for crewed flight and it performed a crew module atmospheric re-entry experiment and a pad abort test for the mission. The project will cost less than 10,000 crore rupees. In December 2018, the government approved further 100 billion rupees, 1.5 billion dollars for a 7 days crewed flight of 3 astronauts to take place in December 2021. If completed on schedule, India will become world's fourth nation to conduct independent human spaceflight after the Soviet Union, Russia, United States and People's Republic of China. After conducting crewed spaceflights, the agency also intends to continue with efforts with a space station program and possibly a crewed lunar landing. History On 9 August 2007 the then chairman of the ISRO, G. Madhavan Nair, indicated the agency is seriously considering the creation of the human spaceflight program. He further indicated that within a year ISRO would report on its development of new space capsule technologies. Development of a fully autonomous orbital vehicle to carry a two-member crew into a low Earth orbit Leo began a few months after that when the government allocated 95 crore rupees $13.7 million for pre-project initiatives for 2007 through 2008. A crewed mission into space would require about 12,400 crore rupees, 1.8 billion dollars, and a period of 7 years for development. The planning commission estimated that a budget of 5,000 crore rupees, 723.3 million dollars was required for initial work on the crewed mission during 2007 to 2012. In February 2009, the Government of India gave the green light for the human spaceflight program, but fell short of fully funding it or creating the program. The trials for crewed space missions began in 2007 with the 600 kg Space Capsule Recovery Experiment SRE, launched using the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV, rocket, and safely returned to Earth 12 days later. This followed with the Crew Module Atmospheric Reentry Experiment, and the Pad Abort Test in 2018. This enables India to develop heat-resistant materials, technology and procedures necessary for human space travel. Defence Food Research Laboratory DFRL, has worked on the space food for crewed spaceflight and has been conducting trials on G-suit for astronauts as well. A prototype advanced crew escape suit weighing 13 kilograms was built by Shore Safety India Private Limited based on ISRO's requirements has been tested and performance verified having shown success in all preliminary tests the decisive push for the creation of the human spaceflight program took place in 2017 and it was accepted and formally announced by the prime minister on the 15th of August 2018 on December 28, 2018, the Indian Union Cabinet approved the funding for Indian Space Research Organisations (ISROs) human spaceflight program, under which a three-member crew will be sent to space for seven days and is expected to cost 9,023 crore rupees. The testing phase is expected to begin from December 2020, and the mission will be undertaken by 2022. Topic. Spacecraft development 
The first phase of this program is to develop and fly the 3.7-ton spaceship called Gaganyaan that will carry a three-member crew to low Earth orbit and safely return to Earth after a mission duration of a few orbits to two days. The launch is planned for December 2021. The extendable version of the spaceship will allow flights up to seven days, rendezvous and docking capability. Enhancements in spacecraft will lead to development of a space habitat allowing spaceflight duration of 30 to 40 days at once in next phase. Further advances from experience will subsequently lead to development of a space station. On October 7, 2016, Vikram Sarabhai Space Center Director K. Sivan stated that ISRO was gearing up to conduct a critical crew bailout test called ISRO Pad Abort Test to see how fast and effectively the crew module could be released safely in the event of an emergency. The tests were conducted successfully on 5 July 2018 at Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sriharikota. This was the first test in a series of tests to qualify a crew escape system technology. India will not use any animals for life support systems testing, but robots resembling humans will be used. ISRO is targeting more than 99.8% reliability for its crew escape system. As of August 2018, ISRO plans to launch its crewed orbiter Gaganyaan atop a geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle MK3. GSLV -MK3. About 16 minutes after lift off, the rocket will inject the orbital vehicle into an orbit 300 to 400 km above Earth. The capsule would return for a splashdown in the Arabian Sea near the Gujarat coastline. As of May 2019, design of crew module has been completed. The spacecraft will be flown twice unmanned for validation before conducting actual human spaceflight. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Infrastructure development. Topic. Human rating of GSLV Human rating rates the system is capable of safely transporting humans. ISRO will be building and launching two missions to validate the human rating of the GSLV MK3. Existing launch facilities will be upgraded to enable them to carry out launches under Indian Human Spaceflight Campaign. Topic. Escape system The escape system will boast of a recently included geometry. Work on parachute enlargement and new architecture are also going on. Topic. Astronaut training ISRO Chairman, K. Sivan, announced in January 2019 the creation of India's Human Space Flight Centre in Bangalore for training astronauts, also called Vyomanauts Vyoma means space or sky in Sanskrit. The 1,000 crore rupees $144.7 million center will train the selected astronauts in rescue and recovery operations, operate in zero-gravity environment, and monitoring of the radiation environment. An astronaut training facility will be established on proposed site of 140 acres (0.57 square kilometers) nearby Kempegowda International Airport in Devanahalli, Karnataka. In spring 2009, a full-scale mock-up of the crew capsule was built and delivered to Satish Dhawan Space Center for training of astronauts. India will be shortlisting 200 Indian Air Force pilots for this purpose. The selection process would begin by the candidates having to complete an ISRO questionnaire, after which they would be subjected to physical and psychological analyses. 
Only four of the 200 applicants will be selected for the first space mission training. While two will fly, two shall act as reserve. ISRO signed a Memorandum of Understanding in 2009 with the Indian Air Forces Institute of Aerospace Medicine (IAM) to conduct preliminary research on psychological and physiological needs of crew and development of training facilities. ISRO is also discussing an agreement with Russia regarding some aspects of astronaut training. Topic: Experiments and objectives. On the 7th of November 2018, ISRO released an announcement of opportunity seeking proposals from the Indian science community for microgravity experiments that could be carried out during the first two robotic flights of Gaganyaan. The scope of the experiments is not restricted, and other relevant ideas will be entertained. The proposed orbit for microgravity platform is expected to be in an Earth-bound orbit at approximately 400 km altitude. All the proposed internal and external experimental payloads will undergo thermal, vacuum and radiation tests under required temperature and pressure conditions. To carry out microgravity experiments for long duration, a satellite may be placed in orbit. <laughs> <laughs> 